blue trousers. The scores at the moment, Neil is on 16 and Arvi is on 27. We are heading for our final games in tonight's program and let's start with a few more letters. Arvi, it's you to choose. Thanks. Uh, can I please start with the consonant, Lily? Thanks, Arvi. Y. And another one, please. R. And a third. D. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel. A. And a third. E. And a consonant, please. B. Another one. M. And a vowel for last. And last letter, A. Thank you, Lily. I'll start the clock. Six. Six for you and Neil. I'll go six also. Let's start with yours, Neil. Remedy. And yours, Avi? Dreamy. Dreamy. Very nice ones, David. Dreamy words and a great remedy to this mix. Well, well played. Good sixes. Um, as I'm playing this game, I try to organise the letters as they come and put them in sort of logical uh, groupings. Um, and this one actually backfired because I thought Y would be the end letter, when in fact it's uh, more central to a seven, and that is embayed. E-M-B-A-Y-E-D, which is uh, a more poetic word for uh, surrounded. Very nice work, and great work from Arvi and Neil, six each. Well, it's a very competitive game which could go either way with only 11 points the difference at the moment as we head into our numbers game with up to 10 points at stake. And, uh, Neil, what would you like to choose? Can I get four large and two small, please, Lou? Thanks, Neil. Four large and two small... And starting with the smalls, two, four, and our four large numbers, 50, 25, 75, and 100. And the target to reach is 181. Let's chase it right now. out going on the, the pads uh, on this occasion, so did you get right to that target? I did, Richard, yes. RV, you too? Yes. Absolutely. Okay, well take us through your method, Neil. Uh, 100. 100. Plus, plus 75. Plus the 75. Plus 4. Plus 4. Plus 2. Plus 2. Here's 180. Very straightforward. RV, the same method for you? Yeah, exactly the same. Would you just like to verify that you've both done it the same way, please? So, uh, did you do the same uh, the same thing, Lily? I did. It is the obvious way to go, and it produced ten very effective points for both Arvi and Neil. So our scores now: thirty-two for Neil, forty-three for Arvi. Well, it's time for that last suspense-filled game, the conundrum, in which our contestants have up to thirty seconds to uncover the hidden nine-letter word. So let's reveal tonight's conundrum. Your time starts now. the sound of a buzzer from uh, either Arvi or Neil, so let's have a look at the conundrum solution. It is apathetic. But that means that after our final round tonight, with the scores unchanged, our winner is Arvi. 
you, Neil. Very well done. Some great play from you. Some uh, some great words. I think we'll remember tiaras best of all. That was uh, an absolute cracker. And of course, the Macquarie Dictionary for you to take home. Thank you very much, Richard. And Avi, once again, you're our carryover champion. So uh, you enjoyed the night. Yeah, it was really fun. It was great, and we'll see you back in that chair tomorrow night. Looking forward. David, a, a word from the night? Well, in fact, in that uh, third letter mix uh, where Boogie was found, uh, there was also Bodgy. And uh, Bodgy is a lovely word. It has several meanings, including uh, someone who has an alias. It's a, a large marble, playing marble. But it's also, in the 50s, it was uh, a group of people, young men usually, who were sort of spivved up with slick back hair. And... So they were the bodgies, and the female version were the widgies, was that right? The widgies. Or I the think bodgies, so. maybe. Bodgies and widgies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was bodgies and widgies. And, of course, Bob Hawke was the silver bodgie. <laughs> Good stuff. And Lily, we spoke at the beginning of the show about you getting your brain warmed up, ready for the show, but now it's come to an end. How do you get it to cool down? With a good book. Ah, relaxing through reading. See you tomorrow night, Lily. And that is it from the Letters and Numbers team. That's all we have for this evening. Thank you for your company. We'll see you again same time tomorrow night, 6 o'clock. Good night.